Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we recently did a video showing you how to build this floating cart button there and when they click on it it'll take them to their cart page and like I say it's floating so it stays there when we roll up and down the site. Now in the last video like I say we just put a link to the cart page there. In this video we're going to show you how to make it actually pop up a cart. Click on it and it's going to pop up their cart right here. Really easy to do. Now we're using a premium plugin for this, one of my favorites, Divi Supreme Pro, and you will need the Pro version to be able to do this today. And if I go to the dashboard, once you've installed Divi Supreme Pro, you'll find it here. And if I click on it, it'll take us to this page. And it's really important you turn this extension on, Enable Divi Pop-Up. Turn it on so it's purple like that, and save your changes. If you forget to do this, this won't work today. Okay, well let's go back to our page. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and create the actual page we want to pop up. It doesn't really matter where we put it because we're going to save it to the library and delete it afterwards. So I'll pop him down here. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules here, plenty enough to build most sites. When you add Supreme Pro, you get another 40 or so of these blue modules here. And there's some fantastic modules. Have a look at our Divi Supreme Pro playlist for more details about that. But for this actual page, I'm going to use a text module, just a regular Divi text module. And I'm going to use a short code, a WooCommerce short code. And I'll put the short code below the video. Anybody needs to use it. So usually you'll be on visual. I'm going to flip to text tab right there. I'm going to select all this content and delete it. And I'm going to put my short code in. So we want to open and close some square brackets right there. Inside we're going to say woo commerce underscore cart. And that's the short code for a WooCommerce cart. And while we're in the content, I'm going to give it a white background. And I'm also going to give it a bit of padding all around for a bit of space. There's the actual thing. It looks kind of crazy in that small space we've got it in, but that's okay because we're going to delete it in a minute. So I'm going over to design. I'm going to go down to spacing and just give it a bit of padding all around. I'm going to give it 30 pixels. Just put in the 30. It'll put in the pixels for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side, and we'll do the same for left and right. And when, when you're happy with it, it's kind of looking like I want it to there, but obviously there's too small a space for it, but that's okay. So now we've got it how we want it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to go over to it. I'm going to save it to the library with a little round icon just to the left of the trash can there. Left click, we'll give it a name. We'll say WCRT for Woo Cart. Call yours whatever you want. It's a good idea that it makes sense to you though. And we'll save it to our library. Now that we've saved it to our library, we can trash it. Great. Okay. Well, I want to save the changes and refresh this page because we're going to go to our library and, and use it in a minute. And if we don't refresh the page, it won't be there. So I'm going to save the page changes. And I'm going to hit the refresh. Okay, now it's refreshed. I'm just going to roll down a little bit. I'm going to go back into our little floating button right here. Now I'm not going to recreate this today. I could delete that and show you how to do it again. But if you want to learn how to do this floating button, I'll put the video where we built that down below. So I'm in that module now. We deleted the text and content there because we're just using the icon for this. I'm going to go over to my advanced. I'm going to go down to visibility. And you'll see a little button here that says use pop up. By default, it's going to be off. So you need to turn it on. Now, if you forgot to do this in the first step, Divi Supreme Pro, enable Divi pop up save changes. If you've forgotten to do that, you're not going to see this switch there. So if you get here and the switch is not there, you need to do that. So once it's set to yes, 
we want to choose what we want to pop up or we want to pop up that layout that we saved to our library you can also do images videos and iframes if you need to but I need a, a lay layout the layout WooCart was the layout we saved we want it to trigger on the module click there's various options if you've got a button you can trigger it on a button click image hyperlink page load scroll exit intent exit intents when they go up to close out of a web page it's great you can make all kind of pop-ups with this um, to close it anywhere they click outside the pop-up it'll close you don't want to use auto close you can switch that on and put a time in there and have it close after whatever time you put in there but we don't need that today we want them to click on it or ultimately we want them to hit the checkout button there's various animations for fading in and fading out I'm gonna leave mine on the default we've got out animations and in animations there pop-up position yeah want it in the center of the screen I want it to be absolute so if they try scrolling up and down it'll stay where it is not going to use full width that's a great little feature right there if you use full width it'll cover up the header and the footer and that's a great thing for uh, pop-up notifications but not in this particular case so I'm gonna leave that as it is I'm gonna leave the max width for this pop-up 680 that works well for me on most devices if you want to change it so that you've got separate ones for desktop tablet and phone just click on the little icon there and you can put in different values for each but I'm pretty happy with my 680 I'm gonna show an overlay which is like a light box effect when it pops out it'll darken out the background and focus on what it's popping up which is our cart page there and you can choose a color if you want to there I've chosen to show a close button that's the default right there buttons are going to be inside now you can choose the icon that you want to use by the, the defaults and X which is pretty standard for closing things you can change the size and the color and the background here again I'm gonna leave mine all on the default there so let's save this and we'll save the page changes and let's exit the visual builder and there we are there's our little floating cart button right there as usual now when I click on it it's gonna pop up that little layout that we saved to our library so they can do it without actually leaving the page here and hopefully proceed to check out and purchase their items and we've got a close button up there and we can also close by clicking outside the box here and as you see if I pop that up again it kind of darkens out the background a little bit for us so we're focusing on the actual pop-up itself and that really is one of the fantastic features of the Divi Supreme plugin it really is one of the best extensions that I've come across because you can make all kind of different pop-ups as we demonstrated before so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful here's how to make a pop-up cart page from your floating button right there so once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and web designer techtips.com thanks for watching have a great day Thank <laughs> you.